인터뷰 BYSQ 글로벌 안녕하세요 반갑습니다 안녕하세요 한국에 오신 것을 환영합니다 네. 자기소개 부탁드립니다 네. 아, Hello, my name is Nikea Parm um, I am an independent researcher from Los Angeles, California in the States um, and I've been doing research on K-pop and BTS and Korean culture for 12 years now 제 3회 어, BTS 국제 학술 대회가 한국에서 열렸는데요. 어, 어, 처음 오시는 건가요? It's my first time in Seoul, so I'm like really excited about that. Um, I've been actually trying to come to Korea for five years now, so happy to be here, uh, especially at this BTS conference. You yeah. humanity. 가 이제 올해 주제인데 어, 미국에서 오셨잖아요. 그 미국의 아미들은 이 New Humanity라는 주제에 대해서 어떤 생각을 갖고 있을까요? I feel like we are the new humanity. <laughs> um, I feel like we're uh, kind of coming into this new understanding of that we need one another um, and we're not alone in this world. Um, and I really wish more people would come to that. And it's very interesting because in America there is this kind of individuality that keeps getting pushed um, so I'm glad that more people are coming to see that uh, we really do need each other and it's kind of funny that it's coming through BTS <laughs> 7, 8년 전에는 지금의 현재의 BTS가 아니었고 mm -hmm. BTS의 시작점에 어, 어, 소수인으로서 굉장한 이제 그 압박을 받았다고 들었는데 mm -hmm. 어, 미국의 아미로서 그 BTS를 위해서 어떤 역할들을 했는지 궁금합니다 mm -hmm. Well, I know I was actually a, a fan of BTS from their debut um, and I kind of felt something was happening um, probably because of how uh, they talked about certain things that a lot of people were feeling but couldn't voice. Um, so I think in America, I think they gravitated to BTS because of that message. Um, and so a lot of youth and even uh, slightly older, I guess, um, were felt like they now had a voice to actually say, like, what's, what's wrong in this world? Or what's just wrong in our, you know, local area? So I feel like it was great that they did that. Yeah. Uh, 그렇다면, 어, BTS의 아미가 된 어떤 개인적인 특별한 원칙의 계기가 있었나요? Mm -hmm. um, probably because of their message. Um, I remember uh, even hearing No More Dream and being very much like, oh, I, I feel the same way. Hmm, there's, there's something to this group. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and because I had also been a fan of K-pop for a long time, mm -hmm. it was very interesting that they came and debuted um, as hip-hop idols and kind of wanted to bring a different message that a lot of mm -hmm. K-pop was not allowed to do, pretty mm -hmm. much, um, or couldn't couldn't voice it unless they were a solo a solo artist. Yeah. 모든 노래들이 굉장히 이제 위로가 되거나 또뭐 기쁨이 되거나 이렇게 응원이 되거나 할 텐데 어 본인 삶에서 이제 BTS 노래들 중에서 가장 내 삶을 이렇게 흔들어 놓았거나 바꾸게 된 어떤 가사가 있다면 소개 좀 해줄 수 있겠습니까? To be honest, the uh, song that actually has a special place in my heart um, is actually Haruman um, and even though it is technically a love song, um, I think it's uh, definitely something that uh, makes me feel very, I don't know, like, um, I guess a moment to love myself, really. Um, and also, uh, I love uh, Paradise, which was a more recent, uh, recent release, but Paradise and the lyrics to that actually helped me through uh, some very tough times. So I think that's... Those two songs probably mean the most to me of all the BTS songs. Amiga, is it possible? Oh, I think so. Oh, definitely. Um, I mean, I, I, 
a lot of people think because BTS is on hiatus now and you know they're focusing on solo work, I don't think they understand that that actually people do that in K-pop in general. Mm. <laughs> um, and also I think because they are given a chance to rest right now, um, that they can do a lot more. And I think even with ARMY, I don't think ARMY will stop ever. Um, it might die down a little bit in activity um, or they'll become slower because there isn't much like being released. But I think with all of the extra like social justice and um, even just kind of continuing the message of loving yourself, I honestly don't think that ARMY will stop <laughs> ever. <laughs> Yeah. BTS가 이번에 이제 개인적인 성장을 하기 위해서 단체 활동을 잠시 중단한다는 소식을 들었을 때 어떤 느낌이었어요? I felt it was time. <laughs> I thought it was a perfect timing. I mean, most people go with seven or ten years anyway. Um, but I felt it was perfect timing for them because I know they have been working pretty much nonstop since they began. Um, so I was actually excited um, to be able to see even more like solo work as much as I love the group as a whole. Um, I was excited for them to be able to venture out into new, new places and um, kind of do their own thing. I had always been, even from their debut, I had always kind of tried to figure out like, oh, what are they going to do next? So finally we get to see what are they going to do next. 한국인들한테 어, 해주고 싶은 얘기가 있, 뭔가 생각나는 얘기가 있다든지 음. 해주고 싶은 얘기가 있나요? Thank you for being you. <laughs> don't change, don't let, 음. you know, any other kind of outside force make it, make you feel like you're not 음. supposed to be who you are. 음. Um, yeah, I really, really like that. Like I, cannot wait to actually hopefully move here soon so um, and kind of actually experience more of Korean culture because I've loved it uh, since I was young so yeah, just stay I mean obviously adapt to to what you have but don't don't change because someone else is trying to make you do a certain thing Oh, I actually hope to do more research. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, but do more research. Um, and also, uh, I do a lot of research on Afro-Asian history. Um, and I feel like, especially coming from LA with, uh, we had the Los Angeles riots and things, a lot of the media didn't talk about what happened after and a lot of the collaboration that actually mm -hmm. happened. Um, they kind of continued with this narrative of black people and Koreans hate one another, um, and that was definitely not the case. So I hope I can do more research and bring that even to light um, and even come here and experience more of Korean culture. Ami wa dangshinai kum yi yonde, otten yonde ga hai kanan hai kayo? Well, it's been like that since, uh, since childhood. Mm -hmm. So I actually, uh, because I lived around a lot of Koreans and also, um, just did a lot of things like I watched my first Korean drama when I was seven when there were no subtitles um, and so I kind of like went through that entire process um, now I think it's really I made it my job to kind of like do this research so I, I publish a lot of things that I learn on um, my website which is actually called my Beguan, which of course like loosely translate to my two cents it just sounded better <laughs> um, but yeah I like to explain things and uh, do it through pop culture because that's how people understand a lot of things better like it's hard to again like even though we're at an academic conference it's hard to talk and lecture for an hour and people actually come out of it being like oh I was enlightened by that. Um, it's easier to do it through pop culture, so. Um, it's a fun place to be. <laughs> it's a fun thing. And uh, a lot of times you don't necessarily have to, like there is no rule as in like to be an army other than just love BTS. So if you love BTS or you like their message um, and you agree with their message, then of course you can be army, so don't. Don't think like there's a lot of things that you have to do. Thank you. I hope you will be able to make a happy place in Korea. And if you can see it in the world, you will be able to see it in the world. Thank you very much. Thank you.